started applying for a bunch of jobs in the environmental and climate space, got absolutely radio silence from every application that I sent out. And I was trying to figure out why, why was I not getting any response? I decided that the answer probably was that I had nothing on my resume related to the climate or environment space. So people were looking at, probably looking at my applications and going, why is this person trying to get this job or trying to work in this organization? They're not related to this. They haven't shown any interest in this before. What Flannery did as a result of the lack of response she received, well, it serves as a masterclass on relentlessly pursuing a passion. This month, in the Ultimate Cli-Fi Book Club, we discuss Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, an award-winning novel just released as an HBO miniseries. Recycling is actually one of the least effective ways to fight climate change. Even though having a different colored trash can makes you feel better than the neighbors, most of your recycling just winds up in a landfill. We're not saying you shouldn't recycle. You should, but there's something that helps even more. Lobbying. You might not know this, but as a voter, you're actually supposed to lobby. All that means is calling your congressional representative's office and saying, hey, I want you to do something about carbon emissions and climate change. If we spent the same time and energy lobbying as we do recycling, Congress would have to pass climate laws. Laws that would cause millions of people and corporations to reduce their emissions. And that is the beauty of lobbying. I love that. Sign me up. All right, let's see that now. Uh, all right, very good. Yeah, okay. Gonna look at your eyes really quick. 
follow my fingers. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. You've been diagnosed with climate inaction and you're going to have to solve that by joining Citizens Climate Lobby, liking this post, probably sharing it and commenting just to mess with the algorithm. I'm so sorry. It's not up to me. It's a matter of life and death. So this is Dr. Huey signing off. Let's move forward with love, not conquest, humility, righteousness, generous curiosity, not hardened assumptions. It is a magnificent thing to be alive in a moment that matters so much. Let's proceed with broken open hearts, seeking truth, summoning courage, and focused on solutions.